That's another bifarious. She got pollen on her leg. I'm the statewide pollinator coordinator in the wildlife diversity program, which is in the wildlife branch. I've been with the department a little over two and a half years. I'm a native Californian, I'm from San Diego, and I um, believe that, you know, California is really unique. It's a biodiversity hotspot. There's an estimated 27,000 invertebrate species. So I always knew I wanted to work at that level. And so to get there, there wasn't a position. And so I just kept working for nonprofits or I worked briefly for RCDs. This looks like a cuckoo bee maybe. And so eventually there was this position with CDFW and I knew I had to apply because it was my dream job. So we also go out and actively monitor species. We work with uh, monarch butterflies, for example, and have gone out and put modus tags on them and look how they move between overwintering sites. A really worn out bifarious bumblebee. I also work with a lot of outside agencies. So for example, we have a multi-agency pollinator collaborative that's comprised of 14 state and federal agencies. And we're all working together to identify priorities in California for pollinators and then collaborate collaboratively work towards those goals. So it really gives us this big stage to help people understand the importance of pollinators and take action both on our lands and in partnership with um, public and private entities to really increase uh, the scope of what we're able to accomplish. It's easy to overlook like bugs or creepy things, right? But they're the ecosystem engineers that are in charge of decomposition and pollination. And so they really are the things kind of driving a lot of our ecosystem processes. And so helping to conserve them really helps to conserve plants, animals, you know, everything that we depend on as humans and animals depend on as well.